You want to get the Immersed with Shaders mod pack. We're going to show you exactly how to do that. And one of the cool things about this mod pack is it is completely client-side, meaning you can play on pretty much any server that you want as long as it accepts vanilla connections. And it's available for both Forge and Fabric, allowing you to get the best FPS performance on both of those. There's also a few quality of life mods and things like that. Really good mod pack, and we're going to show you how to get it in this video. And in order to get this, you're going to need the Curse Forge app. You can find the link to download the Curse Forge app in the description down below. And once you're here, go ahead and scroll down and click the download curse forge button to go to the official download page once you're on this page go ahead and click download standalone and the curse forge app will begin downloading you may need to keep or save this file depending on your browser while this is downloading how to quick message from our hosting provider simple game hosting go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown to xyz size sgh and start playing minecraft with your friends in minutes now you can use immerse shaders to play on any minecraft server that accepts a vanilla connection you can of course start one of those to simple game hosting but let's say you wanted to try another mod pack with your friends like all the mods 10 or better minecraft well you can do that at Simple Game Hosting with just one click. There's also expert live chat support there to help you out along the way. So play Minecraft with your friends the simple way at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown.xyz says SGH. With the Curse Forge app downloaded, we can go ahead and minimize our browser. And what we want to do is find the file we downloaded, which in our case is going to be the downloads folder. It's this Curse Forge Windows installer. Double click on it, and the installer will go ahead and open up. And this can be installed just like any other program on your computer. Just click next a few times, agree to the terms of use, and privacy policy, assuming you agree to them, and click next, and now we'll go ahead and download and install CurseForge, basically getting it ready to install Minecraft mod packs. Once it is finished, it will close and it will open the CurseForge app. If it doesn't, you most likely have a thing on your desktop. You can double click to open the CurseForge app. When you first open it, you'll be taken through a tutorial like this. So we can go ahead and click continue. It gives you some information about how CurseForge works. And then you can log into CurseForge or continue as guest. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and select Minecraft. And when you do, you will have this standard or advanced. I recommend just clicking standard there and clicking continue. To do that, you'll want to search for at the top immersed with shaders and it will go ahead and pull it up right here right away if for whatever reason it doesn't feel like it's correct you can search for mod packs and make sure it's this one now this mod pack is available for both neoforge and fabric so if we go in here and go to versions by clicking on it we can see both of those versions here if you wanted the fabric version you would click install here if you wanted the neoforge version you would click install here because you can see those different versions listed there nevertheless if we go back to the my mod packs tab it's now installing both of them and you can actually quickly see which one's which by the little icons that appear on them. You can see Neoforge here and Fabric there, allowing you to easily decide which one you want to play with, depending on what kind of mods you might want to add to it, or if you prefer one over the other. So we can see the Fabric one is now downloaded. Launching either of these is exactly the same. Just hover over it, click play, and then it will open up the Minecraft launcher. You will need to log into the Minecraft launcher, but that's okay. This is the default Minecraft launcher you always play Minecraft with. It's just launched through CurseForge. Then just make sure we have Immersed with Shader selected, and we can click play and click Click play again and immersed with shaders will now open here we are immersed with shaders is open we can go to options video settings and shader packs at the top and then select whichever one of these that you want we'll go ahead and do a mellow shader here and then we can jump into a multiplayer server as i said any server that accepts vanilla connections will work with this so i've added a simple game hosting server here which we can join on into and once we are in game here we will be immediately able to see that shaders is working we can change shader packs in game by going to options video settings let's change to uh, super duper vanilla shaders for example and yeah you can switch between these all you want every shader pack is going to look a bit different that's one of the cool things about something like this mod pack is it allows you to try a bunch of different shader packs pretty easily what is your favorite let us know in the comments and we will see you in the next video enjoy the immersed with shaders mod pack i am out peace